Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021-22 Panini Donruss Soccer. Two hobby boxes, random country break number four. All cards ship. Some countries won't have autos. That's the risk of this break, but only 17 spots. A lot of nice teams, a lot of nice hits in here. Big thanks to this group for uh, getting in, for making it happen. There are the countries right here. And let's roll it. Randomized names and teams, six into two, eight times. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, we've got Matt Arnold down to Matt McLaughlin. Six into two, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eighth, and final time. Good luck. After eight, we've got the Netherlands down to the three lines. Three lines on a shirt. Jewels remain still gleaming. Matt Arnold with the Netherlands. Robert with Argentina. Nick with the with Italy. Jonathan with Poland. Robert with Portugal. The United States, Spain, and Korea. Nick with Brazil, Robert with Colombia and Germany, Peter with the Sweden-Norway-Croatia combo, Logan with Le Bleu, Matt with Uruguay, Dan with Belgium, Joe with El Tri, El Tri, and Matt with the three lions. Let's sort by country. We're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break stick around. Be right. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Here on Thursday the 13th, random country number four. Thanks everybody for getting into it, appreciate you. And let's get on with it. We have not seen, we've done three of these two box breaks. We have not seen a Kaboom yet. Now I don't know what the odds are on the Kaboom. I don't know if they fall one per case or what the situation is there, but But we're still we're still hunting for that. This is not part of the wax party promo, but these are fun breaks to do. Logan saying, if you won that case in that wax party promo, you don't think you could even open it? Yeah, what would you do with it, Logan? What if you won? What if you won a promo spot and then in the next randomizer, in the promo randomizer, you won that case of flawless baseball? It'd be tempting. Like if you won that spot and let's say you won it, let's say you only paid like, you didn't pay very much to win that or the spot that won it wasn't very expensive, which means you pretty much get a free case of, of flawless baseball. Do you open it? Do you sell it? Open one, save one, open one, sell one. Too fast. All right, good luck. I'll try to capture as many of these youngsters as possible, but all card ships, so you'll be getting everything you see here.
There's a Chrome Erling Holland for the uh, Sweden Norway Croatia combo. The Norwegian Erling Holland. Rex is a promo winner. He got in pretty early. He's like, it's almost like I don't want to win it. There's Dejiwon, 77 out of 149 for Korea. It'll be for Robert. Right, yeah, if you sell it, right, then, then online, then you got to... And there's like tax Im implications for it. If you make those online sales. So you would just open it yourself. I would, if I wanted, I would definitely open it. You know, because, because I think like the experience of opening that yourself not too many people are going to have that opportunity to do that. So for the experience itself would be would be worth uh, would be worth it, I think, in my opinion. That's Timo Werner to 199 press proof. Cuz when are you ever going to open a yeah, because the what if factor would eat you alive. What? When would you ever have an opportunity? Most people, most of us aren't going to have the opportunity to open a sealed case of flawless baseball. So most of us aren't going to buy a case, a full case outright, right? Ooh, nice! Kings coming back with a another quick gold, three two Kings. Yeah, where did that come from? I would open it. Most of us aren't going to have the opportunity. I know I'm just to repeat again. Most of us aren't going to have the opportunity to re to open up a case like that. You're always watching them being busted open. You know, you're seeing other pe you're, you're seeing me pull the hits. But to do it yourself, that'd be a lot of fun. Ooh, what is this? A super fractor? What? And it's for Croatia. It's Ivan Perisic. And another goal for the Kings. 4-2. There's Ivan Perisic. Nice one of one. For the, t for the tireless Croatians. That goes to Peter. With a Sweden, Norway, Croatia combo. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo! And Robert Runkle with Argentina, you'll get all those Lionel Messi's. Oh, Rebel, um, you were talking about there was a a Kaboom controversy? What, what was that all about? Tell us the story.
so Mark just saw this. So there's there's some 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 shadiness. Wow, another goal. Woo! Oh, Penguins falling apart all of a sudden. So, so we got another scammer report. Well, Rebel, feel free to call them out so other people don't accidentally break with those guys. I mean, I'm sure they're, if they were caught, they're probably not going to be breaking again anytime soon. There's Antonio Nesser, ne, how, how would you do it in, in Italian? Necherino? Arcee's Chuz? All right, so you can do your own research, but apparently Backyard Breaks is the uh, is the guy there on Twitch, maybe. Rebel, this is according to Rebel, one of our users here. Give me a box of football. Don't know the product. Gave it away to one in the chat. And they pulled a Trevor Lawrence kaboom. They decided to keep it and send the guy money instead. They ended up getting a lot of bad press. And now apparently are giving away to someone today. Wait, I'm not sure what was the... Maybe I'm missing. What was the problem? They decided to keep it and send the money instead. Oh, you're saying that that that, that they should have just given it away anyway. But I guess if they exchanged money... Oh, I see. Mark's saying so they're giving away to a random person. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I see where the problem. I see where the problem is. So, so the, so the, so they're saying that that they pretty much gave it to themselves. But did they do like a randomizer or something like that? They said they would give away the kaboom, but change their minds. Yeah, maybe I'm missing a part of the story, but but maybe the suggestion is is that the person who won it was in cahoots with them, and so they weren't really giving it away. Someone in the Twitch chat won the box before they broke it. Then they pulled out. They looked up price on the UVA and basically saw on camera they won't be letting it go. Yeah, I heard about this earlier. Wow, you can't do it. It's like they gave away a box of Absolute to a, a Twitch customer or a Twitch fan that was watching the see them get 2000 and they And they announced, they announced that person's yes, name and everything. They ripped it and they were just like, well, this is too good to give away to a rando. Let's give it to somebody that just spent a lot of money in a break with us. Oh. And then, you know, yeah, they decided you to give away to another thing and it led to more. Yeah, you can't. Because they were just like, sorry, it's too good to give away. But it's well, like... But that's what... Yeah, that's what But if, if they never opened the box, they would never know. Yeah. So that you should just give it away. So it's like if I did a giveaway and then I decided to open it for, like, Adam. I'm like, oh, well, Adam doesn't deserve this. Right, right. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah that's... Me, oh, me, I see what you're saying. Let me give it to somebody else that's, like, spent a lot of money in a break. Yeah, you around. can't do that. They deserve it better than a rando. Yeah, well, you can't do that. The... That's the risk from the that's the risk from the the person who's giving stuff away. We're giving away a case of flawless. What if that has like, you know, the ultimate Babe Ruth one of one in there? We don't know. Still giving it away. There's Giovanni Lo Celso for Argentina. Okay, I get it now. Everyone here, Jason Jaspi's explanation on that, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Can you imagine? If we're doing an in-chat giveaway, and then like some newbie wins it, and then we're like, no, nah, we're gonna give it to Ryan Harold instead. <laughs> we'll give it to Rex instead. That'd be effed up. You're giving something away, just give it away. Wow, 
Wow, they're like frat boy breakers. They 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 have shirts off and everything. It's interesting. They're trying to set thirst traps for who? Who are they? Who are they trying to set thirst traps for, Jason? In a uh, in what we know to be a, a hobby, usually dominated by by men. It's the main demographic. <laughs> Parsons agrees. Matthew, agrees. yeah. Who are they trying to impress, Matthew? I don't do this because I don't want to body shame you guys because I have such a excellent physique underneath this shirt. I don't want to be a show off, you know what I mean? And make you feel bad about your bodies. I want you to feel comfortable here. I just can't show you my my amazingness underneath here, which is why I don't do it. I, w I would, I would, Mark, but I just don't want to... I just don't want, like, your girlfriends to be like, oh, who's that guy? Well, they have a shop in L.A. We should go. And then what? Then I'm the bad guy. Matthew saying, let's say if I was spending my money, I needed a little professionalism. Which which surprises me that you that you uh, that you break with us, Matthew. No, yeah, I think yeah, I think in all seriousness, yeah, you you do. I I think w especially with how expensive this stuff is these days, if you're spending a lot of money on the hobby, it's hard enough to get hits already. You know, I think I think it does matter that that there's professionalism, there's there's good production value. You know that there's a, a friendly, comfortable chat that you can hang out with in. You know, you get some, you get pretty relatively fast shipping. We got, we got solid customer service here. You know, like with the amount of money you guys are spending, that that part should just be, should even be just bare minimum. You know, and here at Jaspies, we try our best to just kind of go above and beyond that service, but at the bare minimum. With the money being thrown around the hobby these days, especially with breaking operations, you gotta. The King Center account's so funny. Whoever runs gotta it, be professional. He's like in caps. Ah, oh, that's a lot of goals. And then they're like, um, yeah, Arvidsson got the fifth goal. I mean, maybe the fourth. I don't know. We lost track. <laughs> <laughs> that happened so fast too, because it was like <laughs> Penguins, like the Penguins fourth goal bang, and, and then yeah. yeah. And then turned to 5-2 really quick. And then now, no no more goals. And there's still 11.40 left in this third period. So Ryan Harold saying that, that, what, Hobby Twitter is roasting them right now? Uh, listen, ladies and gentlemen, it is, it is too hard to, I don't know. We keep it very, we try to keep it simple here. I know there's a lot of like fillers and breaks and stuff like that. Like that can get a little complex, but but in terms of in terms of giveaways, you never want to. I don't know. You never want to change the terms of a giveaway midstream. You know what I mean? Like you do a promo, just stick with it and keep the promo simple too. Just don't make it complicated. Don't put conditions on it. You know. Back in the day, you know, um, when we were first starting breaking, we noticed a lot of young breakers, or not young breakers, but like new breakers, who would really cater to, who would really cater to the the whales or the or the the, the regulars in that group, which was just important. But if you're building an audience, wouldn't you want to, like, every time we do a promo, like, I kind of want new people to win. You know, obviously I want regulars to win too, but, but you know, it's, there's a, 
it's good if like new people win because that means new cus that means it just kind of builds a little bit of customer loyalty. A new person can become a regular, you know, like so for those guys, I would have been happy to give away that that card to that new person because that new person would probably be like telling all his friends, "Hey, I just won this. Tr I won a box and there was a Trevor Lawrence kaboom inside. They were so cool about it. They overnighted it to me. You know, these guys are the best." I'm never breaking with anyone else ever again. You probably wouldn't. You know, I mean, that would be such a such a great PR. Not only is the right thing to do, but it would just be, you stick with the original promo, it would be a great move. You know, but... So, yeah, I mean, that's silly. Now Parsons is saying, well, first Mark Delara was saying they're changing their story like five times now. They were going to give away. They're not going to give it away. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, just, just it's easier just to give it to the original winner. Now, Matthew is saying that to his knowledge, they had no plan to give to anyone. Parsons, that's what Parsons, Matthew Parsons is saying. They were planning to sell it themselves. They only changed it after the bad press. Yeah, Rebel, word of mouth advertising, he's Rebel saying, would be awesome for us. Long time on that one hit. You know, think about what Jason pulled the the Connor McDavid RPA. There's Nico Gaetan to 99. That's for Argentina. You know, I pulled the LeBron logo man. Teddy pulled the John Moran logo man uh, RPA. You know, we we were. We were happy to send it off to uh, to the people that want it. But yeah, I mean, yeah, they missed they missed a great marketing opportunity. A lot of so much of our business, so much of Jaspi specifically, we don't do a lot of like traditional advertising. You know, all of this is word of mouth. You know, from 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 spot buyer number one who got spot buyer number two into the action and all that sort of stuff, you know, all of it's word of mouth. That's how, that's how Jaspi's reach success, not by being the loudest <laughs> or the flashiest or, you know, we're not, we're not selling the, the deepest discounts on breaks. No, we're just a very, we just, we like to think of ourselves as a very solid straight ahead kind of operation. It's hard enough to run a business like this, believe it or not. So we want to try to keep things as simple as possible for us too. You know, you've seen those games in Vegas, right? The more complex a slot machine is, like, I don't know. It's, it's harder, it seems seemingly harder to win. And you find yourself putting more money into it. But. Yeah, it's a shame. I don't know why. I don't know why people often become so short, short sighted in business. Look at that, Steve Bergwin, one of one, for the Netherlands. It's Matt Arnold. What if I was like those other guys? I'd be like, this card's too good for Matt Arnold. This should go to someone else. I mean, they they could do whatever they want in those breaks now. All right, Matt with the with the orange, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -hoo! At this point, who's to say they can't change the terms of every, of every break they do? Of every promo they do? How could you even... Short-sighted. Right, with the good press they generated, Ryan, they would have been able to... Uh, they would have been able to buy full t-shirts. But alas, they will, they will be shirtless. Thirty-two out of ninety-nine. Matthias Delit Bergwine. Not not strong with the. Uh, with that language.
Those guys had no chance in the first place. Rex was saying he saw he couldn't watch them after seeing them in an ad with no shirts. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that, maybe that, maybe that attracts a certain demographic. Maybe is is that a demographic that we're missing? Are we missing an opportunity? Should, should Jason and I be going shirtless? Is that what the people actually want? That's a 349. Yi Kang In. I can do this pretty well. Robert Lewandowski, still still doing it, and doing it, and doing it well. Come on, I want a kaboom with all this kaboom talk. All this kaboom talk. Let's 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 find something. What? It looks even, I read more. It looks like even worse than what happened. What do you mean? Like Cause like they said they gave away the box, right? And then he opens up the three mini boxes, right? He opens up the first one and he notices he notices it's a gold kaboom. He doesn't okay. know the player yet, but he's just like, oh shit, that's gold. Right. So then he puts it to the side and then he says, this ran, this winner is only gonna get these two boxes that are not open. <laughs> yeah. Just straight like up. That, right. And then he says, you know, I'm gonna give this away to you know some one of the customers that just spent twenty five hundred dollars in a break that was a forty thousand dollar break right so that's right. what he does and then he starts thinking no but what about the customers that bought into a but he was originally gonna give away yes. the whole box what he about, clearly said that yeah what about the customers that were supposed to what about the customers that bought into a five hundred dollar break how are they gonna feel that they miss out on a trevor lawrence you know or this card so he started just thinking of all these other ways to not you know, please not to, to give, you know, not to give away the card, basically. Well, basically, but in a way that like doesn't want to upset every customer, which I get. But the whole point is that if that person won the box, that's what that it person happen. won the box. Yeah. And he said it too. I, I, I admit, if I could go back in time, I should just give it to this guy. But then it just escalated. He goes, we had like six thousand people watching, so many comments. It's so hard to track comments. Everybody was voting, and you know, basically Jeez. they just panicked. You know. I mean, you know, when the lights got too bright for them. Yeah, I guess right. You know, act like you've been there before. Yeah, that looks worse though. The beginning part of it. See, when you're like me and Jason, and you've pulled hundred thousand dollar cards, right? Yeah. <laughs> you don't, you don't worry, you don't worry about twenty thousand dollar cards. You just give that away. No big deal. <laughs> and you're pulling LeBron logo man. Jason Jasby pulling Connor McDavid RPAs out of the cup hockey. When you're doing hundred thousand dollar cards, <laughs> we've been there before. We don't stress about twenty thousand dollar cards. All right. Thanks, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Um, that was Random Country Break number four. Look out for more in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye bye.